kindergartners. It's another fairy tale day. Today I'm going to read Goldilocks and the Three Bears. But before I read it, I wanted to show you all the Goldilocks books I have at my house. I have one here, and another one, and I have this one, and I have this one. And there's many, many, many more out there. You might have a totally different one at your house. But the story is almost always the same. And so with the fairy tales, we know that it's always going to start with Once Upon a Time. And it's going to end with They Lived Happily Ever After. And if it doesn't say that, you can just add it on to the end and say it for yourself. I do that sometimes. There's also silly fairy tales where they take the story, like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and they change it a little bit. Like the story that I posted yesterday about Jack and the Beanstalk, but it was the silly Jack and the Beanstalk. If you haven't listened to it yet, I recommend it. It's pretty silly. But today we're going to read Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And you can read it along with me, because I'm sure you know the story. Now, what magical number do we hear right in the title? That's right, three. Three, three, three. There's a lot of three things in this story, so I hope you listen and you catch all of them. How is it going to start? You got it. Once upon a time, in a cottage in the woods. Wait, could I? Could it be in Boise, Idaho? Is there the cottage in the woods here? No. What about at Disneyland? No. Because the setting of the story where it takes place is far away. And it's in the far away woods. And there was a. There were three bears. There was a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. Every morning when the three bears awoke, they ate porridge out of their special bowls. Great big papa bear had a great big bowl. Middle-sized mama bear had a middle-sized bowl. And wee baby bear had a teeny tiny bowl of his very own. Look how tiny his is. It's the perfect size with the perfect size spoon. In the afternoon, the three bears took a walk and afterward read in their special chairs. Great big papa bear had a great big chair. Middle sized mama bear had a middle-sized chair, and wee little baby bear had a teeny tiny chair all his own. In the evening, when the sun went down, the three bears slept in their special beds. Great big papa bear slept in a great big bed. Middle-sized mama bear slept in a middle-sized bed. And wee little baby bear slept in a teeny tiny bed, all his own. So cute. One morning at breakfast, the three bears sat down to their porridge. But their porridge was way too hot. Let's take a walk in the woods, said Great Big Papa Bear, until it cools down. So off they went. While they were gone, a little girl named Goldilocks came. She walked up to the window and peeked in. No one was home. She saw the three bowls of porridge sitting on the table. That porridge looks awfully good, she thought, and I'm awfully hungry. So she into the cottage. First, she tasted the porridge in the great big bowl. 
too hot, she said. Then she tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. Too cold. Finally, she tasted the porridge in the teeny tiny bowl. Mmm, mmm, good, said Goldilocks. The porridge was not too hot or too cold. It was just right. And Goldilocks gobbled it all up. Next, Goldilocks decided to sit down in a chair for a while. First, she sat in the great big chair. Too hard, she said. Then she sat in the middle-sized chair. Too soft, she said. Finally, she sat in the teeny tiny chair. It was neither too hard nor too soft. It was just right. But when she sat down, the little chair broke. Uh-oh. Is that going to be a problem in the story? Ah, I think the problem is she snuck into their house, huh? Next, Goldilocks stood up. She was all right, but she was feeling a bit sleepy. So she decided to lie down and take a nap. First, she lay in the big bed. Too hard, she said. Then she lay on the middle-sized bed. Too soft, she said. Finally, she lay on the teeny tiny bed. It was neither too hard nor too soft. It was just right. Goldilocks fell fast asleep. Look at the stuffed animals and the doll. What are those hers? No. <laughs> no, I think the bears came home. Meanwhile, the three bears came back from their walk. They sat down to eat their breakfast. Somebody's been eating my porridge, said Great Big Papa Bear. Somebody's been eating my porridge, too, said a middle-sized Mama Bear. Somebody's been eating my porridge and has eaten it all up, said wee little baby bear. Who ate it all up? Goldilocks. The three bears began to look around. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Great Big Papa Bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, too, said Middle Sized Mama Bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair and has broken it all to pieces, said Wee Little Baby Bear. Oh, he looks so disappointed and sad. What are they going to do now? That's all right. They're going to go to the bedroom. The three bears ran and looked at their beds. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Great Big Papa Bear. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, too, said Middle Sized Mama Bear. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, and there she is, said Wee Little Baby Bear. Look at the... Look of surprise on the bears' faces. And Goldilocks is just snoozing away. Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears staring down at her. Help! she cried. She jumped out of bed and headed home as fast as she could. Bye, said Great Big Papa Bear in his great big voice. Bye, said Middle Sized Mama Bear in her middle sized voice. Wee little baby bear in his teeny tiny voice, and the three bears never saw Goldilocks again, and they lived happily ever after in their cottage. Goldilocks looks a little worried, but now the bears can live in their cottage without Goldilocks. The end. So that's the traditional fairy tale of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, we know there's three bears, but else, what else was there three of? There was three chairs, yes. Three bowls of porridge, and three beds. And when Goldilocks came, she did three things. 
she first, what did she do? Ate the porridge. What's the second thing she did? Sit in the chair. And the third thing she did? <laughs> Lay in the beds and fall asleep. So there's a lot of three things in this story. And it definitely is a fairy tale. And I love that you get to use your imagination with it. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you next time for a fairy tale adventure. Bye!